Four friends from the East Coast embark on a trip to find some of the best brews on the West Coast of this fine nation. The trip would take about five weeks, depending on stops and cash flow. The goal was to travel to local beer hotspots and find other great breweries through word of mouth. Once located, the best brew based upon locals would then be tested and rated on a scale from 0 to 10 in five categories. This is Brew SA. After we left Bayern, we drove on through the night. When the sun came up, we arrived in Seattle, Washington. Seattle was by far one of the cleanest cities we had driven through. There was plenty to do, and not enough time to do it. On to the first stop, Hales Ales. This brewery featured a classy, old-school, round wooden bar, but that was not the main attraction. The entire brewing process at Hales Ales is behind 15-foot glass panes, and even features mirrors on the ceiling to get a good look at those hard-to-see areas. They use an age-old brewing method where yeast is specially adapted for top fermenters. While we were there, we experienced a quiet restaurant atmosphere and good tunes at the bar area. Tours are available. The beer we chose for this brewery was the Kolsch Seasonal Golden Ale. That's hoppy. I don't think it is. <laughs> This is supposed to be a light, crisp. Six. I'm going five. What? Ow. Yeah, I'll go five. That's what I'm saying. I, I say it's, it's not that hoppy. I'm surprisingly hoppy. I'm not saying it was like who, but for what it is. Ooh. Sweet. I'm going three. I'd say four. Color. Three. Four. That's four. Five. <laughs> Smooth. Five. Heavy. Five. Naked City was a guilty pleasure as soon as we saw the noirish feel that the brewery gave off. Black and white film noir movies play 24 7 at Naked City which was named after a book of the same name in the movie. The owners, Don Webb and Don Avril, looked to keep their establishment under the concept of a pub or a public house. Public houses were an area to go and discuss current affairs in a relaxed atmosphere. Naked City keeps up with this tradition through think and drink panels, movies in the screening room, and even the debate during election. Conversation could come easy with 24 taps in the tap room to choose from. The crew all seemed to live by the same rule. In the Naked City, it doesn't matter where you're going or where you've been. All that matters is great living and great beer. We chose the brown ale, Betsy's Mountain. Friendly. That's how every party ends. How how I th it was dedicated to Betsy. Let's just finish off this. <laughs> Fill these up a bit. Scale like rate's gonna change. I'll tell you Betsy. Betsy. Bling, bling. I love that. That's good. That's a good brew. I'm gonna go with four. I really don't mind the hops. I'd say four. Yeah. Four? Sweet? There's definitely sweetness. Oh, there. hell yeah. I'm going with like a don't six. Don't overrate it, Mark. Six. <laughs> I think six is good. This color? Well, here we go. Um, that's an that's eight. Smooth? There's no bite with this beer when that I drink it. Smooth to me. Yeah, it's smooth. Seven. Eight. Seven. <laughs> heavy? It's definitely heavier than all the rest. Oh, would you go with? Seven. Six. Seven. I'm going to go with seven. Seven. CMO? Six. Seven. I'm torn between this and the heavy. The heavy and the money heavy. Um, That's my favorite. And so we left Seattle in our taillights. Thanks again for tuning in to Brew SA. Next time you see us, we'll be in Portland.